Okay, the wind's coming from that way and my mic's facing that way, so hopefully there won't be no wind noise on this video. Might be a little bit, but if there is, then I'll delete it and I'll have to make another one, I guess. So I'm feeling quite inspirational, quite motivational today. And I'll just, just cycle on this last bit of road before I get home now. Uh, and thinking like, it's not like, it's not, it doesn't matter like where you are, it's kind of who you are, isn't it? Obviously, unless you live in like, Iceland or something, then well, I don't know, you could still probably go like, you could still buy yourself a fat bike and go snow riding, you know? But you're not going to obviously be able to put some skinny tires on and go for a road ride as such. Um, you know, and there are roads there obviously, and what I'm saying is, obstacles and excuses people can make to stop them from achieving their goals and ideas and things that they want to do, you know? Like, everywhere's got its advantages and disadvantages. Like, how shall I explain it, man? And I, I can explain it in a good way as far as coming from a skateboarder's point of view goes, you know? It's like, it gives you different eyes, like, you know? Like, if you're out walking about and stuff, you can look at things like... Like, granted, I don't actually skateboard as much as I used to. I'm into my cycling and fitness now, but... What I'm saying is, you look at things with different eyes, you know, like, oh, I could do a grind on that, I could ollie that, or that'd be a good hill to bomb, you know, or you could rail slide this, or, you see what I mean? It gives you, like, basically what there is around you, you can make of use to you, you know? Uh, like, if you live in, like, the city, like, you know, people might complain about the area I live in, like, or where we live, people that are watching this that know me, okay? But isn't it fantastic to think, like, like most of the rides, like I do, they start and finish on, like, the edge of, like, like, the Somerset levels, pretty much, okay? And what an amazing, beautiful place it is, too. Shitty in the winter, but fun. And then in the summer, well, all the seasons, you know, they all got their different um, benefits. It's cool, man. But it, but it doesn't matter, like, you know, like, you, depending on what mindset you've got, like, you could be finishing up your ride in, like, an inner city or something. Like, I've ridden in San Francisco and L.A. and places like that. And it's, it's just different, you know, you've got the beach there, and like, well, we've got the beach kind of, or beaches near where I live. But where, whatever you want to do, there's things that serve that purpose in your area, you know. Like, where I live, if you want to go to the gym, there's plenty of good gyms and stuff around here, you know, you've just got to seek that out. Whatever your passion is, go out and find it, you know. Seek and you shall find. And again, like in like in the cities and cities and that now, man, there's like gyms, gyms are plenty, isn't there? They're like 24/7, man. Like there's one, well, there's a bunch of them up in like Bristol, you know. They're open all the time. You can go past there at like, so I've cycled past there like at midnight before, and there's people on there in the treadmill, you know. You can see them through the windows at the top, which is pretty cool because people work, well, they work all sorts of hours now, don't they, man? Again, that's why the roads are kind of busy with, busy with cars at all hours, you know. But, you know, there's places you can go to get out of the way of that. What I'm saying is, you want to do something, don't make excuses. If you want to go running, there's somewhere where you live that you can go running, even if you live on the top of a mountain, you know. Run around the mountain, right? If you want to go cycling, there's places you can go, man. Skateboarding. Man, skateboarding in 2015. Pretty much, like, most towns and cities now are getting concrete parks aplenty, aren't they? Aren't they? So, plenty of great places to go skateboarding now. Cycling, swimming, man, the amount of swimming pools and places they're building now. It's, it's like never been a better time, has it, to get into like health and fitness and things, you know? Things are slowly changing and they need to really, they really do need to. It's really obesity and, the, you know, the epidemic, man, that's going on now with health and sickness and the way society is. It needs to be like going in the opposite direction versus downhill like it is. Because it's not good, man, it isn't good. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm getting a bit, get, getting into this, man. I'm, it, it, I, I've got to use this, like, YouTube, this platform to, like, the best I, the best ability I can, you know, and it's all a learning curve, and you get better at it, man. I can't, I kind of, like, come across sometimes, I still come across a bit nervous or whatever, and a bit, like, a bit of low confidence, but I'm a lot better than I was. I'm, you know, I've got kind of, like, as far as I'm concerned, a responsibility as far as spreading a health message goes. Like, I'm not qualified in anything, but... Do you fucking really need to be sometimes? Do you really need to be? Like, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, because so-and-so in a white coat says you can. Just accept it. That's what you've got to do. Carry on taking the tablets. I don't know. Maybe go another way. Maybe try and, like, look after yourself a bit more, rather than playing the fucking victim. 
thinking you've got to take these little pink tablets the rest of your life. Or I still have my fucking greasy kebab and all that beer and all my other fried food and crap in, on, the, on the weekends and in the weekdays. But these tablets are kind of like, it's like a fucking seesaw effect, isn't it? You've got all this shit on one end of the seesaw and then all your tablets and that. It's like a balancing kind of thing, you know? It's literally there all the time versus... You know, then it could like suddenly go boom and you've had a fucking stroke or a heart attack or something, you know? I mean, would you like, this is a question for you then, would you like a, a big heart attack or a little one, you know? A big stroke or a little stroke? None of it's good, is it? None of it's good. Things have got to change, man. So what I'm saying is, back to the start again, start the video pretty much. Don't make up excuses, start today. There's plenty of opportunity around in 2015. It's all there, no matter where you are, man. No matter where you are in the world. If there's no gym where you are, well, buy your own gym equipment. And uh, weights don't have to be, it doesn't, it's not expensive, is it? Do body weights at home or something. Get yourself fit, you know? Get yourself like some fitness DVD or just watch YouTube videos and people show you how to do like lifting exercises and stretching and bits and pieces. Whatever, man. Just go down that path and you'll find out kind of eventually what the bullshit is versus the good shit, you know? So there you go. There's something for you to ponder over. Pedaling raw, feeling good, feeling good like you should feeling good like you should man uh being the attitude of gratitude and being grateful shit where's all this coming from today where's all this coming from today bro i'm just feeling good man feeling good a little bit of blue sky up there you can see that really thick cloud earlier compared to yesterday like yesterday was really blue sky really nice so i did a few like uh a few repeats on cheddar gorge I wasn't hill training though. All well, because you do repeats on a hill, right? It doesn't mean you're training. There's a diff different approach to uh, hill training. Intervals goes on on hills. I'm not giving you away my secrets. When I start training, man, you fucking watch out. Only joking. Only a bit of fun. But yeah, superb day. Superb day. Out and about. Just get out and about shake it all about. Do the yoki kokis, what it's all about. See ya.